looking at cutting a bunch of staffs, your permitting is going to take even longer. Franklin, are you awake? Mm -hmm. um, DEQ permitting, so now we're talking about solid waste and road department uh, with gravel pits. Fire is going to take a huge hit. I know you are a trustee on the fire. Um, they're looking at cutting the amount of vehicles that go to rural fire and a lot of the mutual aid for rural fire. Um, now I can't read my... Oh, foster care. Uh, that's another one. Oh, mental health for juveniles. So uh, we need to send out and verbally invite each and every one of those different departments and leaders for those departments. Anyone else you guys can think of? Is that a juvenile mental health? Is that basically is all juvenile services also? Isn't it? All juvenile services, yes, and really all mental health services at the county level. They're, they're looking at, the state is looking for counties to pick up all of this. And we simply don't have the funds to do that. They're also looking at closing some of our partnerships so where we had the ability to band together for costs we'll be on our own. Well, a small county is going to pay, you know, out the ears for what we can do as a cost-sharing entity. I have what? not gotten an RSVP from Scott or uh, Kelly yet, too. Yes. One thing you did mention that I might may not have search and rescue. Are you inviting them? They are not on the. What this is is a, and they're definitely invited. Okay. But we're having a roundtable discussion with our representative and our senator and any candidates on Wednesday at ten o'clock. Okay. And basically, what we have is a list of the different proposed cuts from the legislature that they're looking to pass costs on to counties. We already don't get much in the way of help for search and rescue. It really is bore almost entirely by the county and by volunteers of the county. Um, so they're not on the list, but they're also already not getting any assistance from the state. So yeah, they can certainly come. I just didn't mention them because they're not looking at getting cut. One of the reasons I attended the meeting here today is uh, I'm representing Bob Broadwater storage and uh, search and rescue was inquiring here what a year ago mm -hmm. about putting a building out there at broadwater storage so that they'd have quick access to the lake and i was just wondering if they're going to uh, come up with that discussion on maybe the next meeting that you have with the commissioners just to see if there's any more interest in doing that because if they are then we need to know. Uh, we won't put any money into it till we get some kind of commitment from Broadwater County. Yeah, uh, this is. I talked to Mike and to Steve McCullough with the trust board last week. Uh, the trust board is interested, especially depending on the cost, um, and it would be a way of getting them the facilities that they need almost immediately. It could be done very quickly. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting for a callback from Boyd, but we did talk last week. Okay, it was a you good did talk to Boyd then? Yeah. Okay. So, thank you very much for You're reaching welcome. out on that. Okay. I really appreciate it. Sorry I interrupted your... Glad you did. Okay. Absolutely. That's important. Thank you. Thank you. Have any of the city officials been invited for this? No, but they should be. Yes, thank they you. should, because they are also county. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I'd be happy to send out an email to each of those folks and to talk to them if I see them. But I would appreciate it if you guys would as well. Okay. Uh, John Jackson, who's a candidate for HD70, he will be here. He has RSVP'd. Um, it's probably more important to talk to him uh, I know Kelly is sick, um, and so, you know, I, I would like him to take care of his health first and foremost. Um, and I know that he actually pulled for Broadwater County pretty heavily, uh, especially with Board of Crime Control and those cuts, which, of course, will affect the detention center, victim services, law enforcement, and the county attorney. Oh, and the JP. Um, Scott Sales. 
just think I'll say that much. Pulls her off right there. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Anne, for your words of wisdom. <laughs> um, oh, I have a card here. This is for Granite County, who did decide to cost share with us on the uh, Barris trial. And I'll also put together a thank you, a personal thank you card for Missoula County. Um, even though they're not writing a check, I think they're still partnering with us pretty good. And then Powell County will send them a card. Are they, uh, is Missoula County going to keep continue to board him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at no cost to us. <laughs> I know. That could be like a three-year expense. Exactly. Are they, they're aware of that. Yeah. 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 That's huge, though. It is. It is. And and they they did give us their de deputy. They did he did leave when uh, the trial went to death penalty because uh, he doesn't agree with that. But he did provide an awful lot of help for us yeah. free of charge. So that cannot be underappreciated as well. No. So do do we have bor tomorrow morning? Yes. And then the hospital tomorrow afternoon, or do we yes. have a hospital? Okay, okay. And Wednesday at 10 is our round table discussion, or no, yeah, and then, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the timing is. And I'll give this to Wynn and Corey to sign as well. And have another card Wednesday from Missoula. At one point in time, you had mentioned having a working meeting on Wednesday afternoon at one. Is that a go? Is that just going to be rescheduled? I was just thinking it's not on the agenda, so right. if you plan to do it, the revised agenda needs to go out today. Right. Yeah, I think that's probably one of those we'll postpone. That's based great. on. I was just bringing it to your yeah. attention. No, I'm glad you did. Because this round table could well go into that time. Yeah, it could, yeah. Yeah, there's so much going on this week. I keep getting the dates, days confused with what's scheduled on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So, anything else, Mr. Chairman? No, uh, which is just being postponed. Is this. Uh the one o'clock on Wednesday. That's being postponed, right? We don't have a one o'clock on Wednesday. We got a one o'clock on Tuesday. And even that is not agenda. I had a so we can't in, have a. And then had the one o'clock meeting at the hospital. At one o'clock. And you better put it on a revised agenda. So no, this is what I have written in my book here. Right, but you didn't get it to the agenda, Franklin. Yes, yes, we'll adjourn it.